In this tutorial, we will be highlighting how to analyze department and cost center data. Some of the feature highlights will be including a total value card at the top, how to leverage the mixed layout design, adding some KPI indicators, and exploring some of the templates as well. We'll start this demonstration by coming over to a performance flow visual that hasn't had any settings configured for it yet. The fields we will be leveraging will be department, cost center, month and year, cost, and prior year cost. These KPI cards can also be plotted by different dimensions within the various levels. All you'd need to do is add multiple dimension columns in the hierarchy field to define these levels. Right now our hierarchy is a little bit spread out and this data seems like it would benefit from being more of a vertical than horizontal design. Let's come up to layout and explore some of these. We currently have it set to normal. If we change this to mixed, we can see it now cascading downwards between each of these with a clearer picture of how each of these departments and cost centers are organized. You also have variations of this called tree, left or right offset. The left offset will place the cards to the left, the connectors to the right, and the right offset will do the opposite of that, placing the connectors to the left and the cards to the right. Additionally, if you want to turn on that grand total at the very top, we can come up to display, move over to navigation, scroll down here, and we see a total root node. If you turn this on, then we're given the tile section at the top. Let's go ahead and call this company total. There we are. Now we're going to use the expand all option to show all of the levels of the hierarchy, including that company grand total card now contained at the top of the hierarchies. Let's go ahead and close out of the display and let's come over to templates now and explore those. For this scenario, we're going to scroll down. We're going to use the KPI trend one, which will park the spark line over on the left and then also show a value, a variance dollar value, and also a percentage variance on each of the cards. After this, we can clean up the spark line just a little bit. We're going to come over to the spark line settings. Start by coming to measure selection and turning off the prior year cost. We're going to change the chart type from a spline, which is a curved line chart, down to a spline area to add a bit more color into here. And let's wrap it up by also coming to fonts and colors and changing the colors in here. I'll select a darker black for the line and for the area, just a little bit of a light gray. Additionally, we can add some KPIs by closing out of this, coming up to conditional formatting, selecting add a new rule, entitle this variance KPI, and you can either do rules or colors. I will use colors because I'd like to show more than one color on the cards and notice that color type has options between sequential diverging and others, we're gonna go ahead and select custom. And I would like to base this on the variance calculation. Scrolling down, let's go ahead and set the range between zero to 100. And there we are, we've set the three ranges for the orange, yellow, and green. We're gonna select apply. Now by default, it will apply to the whole card. You have additional options to come up to the color impact section, choose what elements it will select, such as all, border, node, or font. Now additionally, under borders applied, we can select as well which side. So I'm going to select left side and select apply again. And additionally, if you close out of this and you come over to the legend, this will now act as a slicer to highlight any of the cards that meet the criteria for any of these KPI color indicators. And in summary, when you have a clean hierarchical structure like this, often putting a total value card at the top is very useful to show that grand total with the cascading values that go down to each of the lower sections with the nodes and leveraging both the layouts and corresponding templates to be able to fit depending on how widespread horizontally versus vertically your hierarchical structure might be.